Hey everybody, it's Ryan with GameDevHQ.com here, and we're going to talk about this month's Community Game Jam. Now, if you're new here, the Community Game Jam is actually a challenge that we release once a month. The challenge will go based off of a theme that we provide you, and in exchange we provide you some prizes and rewards. You can see the prizes in advance at GameDevHQ.com slash game hyphen jam, and you can go there and also make sure you read the rules. Now, please go through the rules very carefully, as it's important to ensure that you understand what's going to happen to have a proper submission. Um, if you don't follow those rules, there's a chance that you could be disqualified. Now, the point of a game jam is not only to test your skill, but also to help keep you active as a developer in between projects to help keep you from getting rusty. And without anything else to go over, let's go ahead and talk about this month's community game jam theme. But it's like, it like motion-wise, it kind of like weird, freaked me out. No, you want to time it? No, f*** that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Jackson, how you doing, buddy? Oh, no. That's hilarious. <laughs> and that brings us our seventh community game jam theme, Jump Scares. Hey everybody, now that we know what the game jam theme is, we're going to real quick just go over how to actually submit your game jam entry. First thing that you want to do is head on over to the website, of course, after you have your account set up. Click on the My Profile icon, which will just be your profiles icon up at the top right. Click that, hit My Profile. Once you're in your profile, scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see a list of options, and you're going to want to click on Projects. Once you see Projects, you're going to want to hit New Project. Now, you have to submit a project that's going to be uh, sent in to the game jam. So you first make the project. While you're making the project, in the description, you need to make sure you have the link to your WebGL. The WebGL link at this time has to be generated from gamedevjohn.com slash gamehost. You'll upload your WebGL platform, uh, your WebGL build there, and then you'll put the link in the description of your project. That way we can find it. This is temporary. This will change in the future, which we will update this video and the written guide when that change is made. Once you have that set up, um, you'll want to go ahead and jump on over to the event section. So if you go to events and click on game jams, or of course you can type gamedevhq.com forward slash game hyphen jam, and that'll take you over to the actual game jam front page. From here, you'll want to go through, click on games. Once you see games, hit submit game. You'll select, it'll say album, and this is your collection of information from your project. Just go ahead and click on the project that you're submitting, hit submit, and it'll automatically add itself to the submissions. Now, just a couple of notes. If you're working with a team, you'll actually want, when filling out the project form, to fill out the contributors. Only the team leader needs to put the submission in. Once the submission has been sent, what's going to happen is all of the contributors will get a notification. They'll approve the notification. Immediately then the project will be duplicated onto their accounts. Once it's on their accounts, you want to make sure that you don't actually delete any. If you delete any of the projects, anybody from the team, it'll actually disqualify the game dev entry. All right, that covers the simple actions of putting in your game jam entry. Go ahead and go to the Game Jam homepage and click on Rules. When you're in Rules, you can scroll down and you'll see our written form of this guide. There's some of the information that I kind of left out just to keep this real short. Some of the rules of regarding submissions and how to submit them with your team to make sure contributors is okay. And just some warning information regarding the submission. So do kind of skim through that real quick to make sure you don't miss anything. And we can't wait to see what you guys make. Good luck. See you guys later.